we have the um, application and all the object and the tab has been created now to in order to establish the relationship between the outlet and head office outlet and uh, revenues outlet and employees head office and employees so how many objects how many uh, relationship that we are going to create let's just note it down so we have to create a uh, total i think four relationship one is outlet to revenue object second would be outlet to employee so i'll just type in over here outlet to employee third will be outlet to um head office yeah head office and uh, fourth would be fourth would be outlet to head office head office to employee because head office also has a field called manager by the way right so head office to employee basically in the left hand side i'm just keeping the um child object and the right hand side i'm keeping the parent object but there's a mistake right so outlet to employee okay outlet is the child employee is the parent outlet to revenue no i think it has to be revenue to outlet yeah revenue to outlet because revenue would be the child outlet would be the parent correct um like what we discussed outlet number one will have multiple revenues right so employee named rajesh would be the manager of many outlets uh, india head office will have many outlets employee named rajesh will be the manager of multiple head offices you understand right so one to many relationship one parent will have multiple childs so this is pretty much clear that uh, who is parent who is child and uh, now we'll see the different types of relationship right so, so we have two different type of relationship lookup and master what is lookup what is master both are the type of relationship but in the lookup relationship what happen is in the lookup relationship the child object is not dependent with the parent object what do you mean it means let's say um <laughs> the example would be this suppose one employee is the manager of multiple outlets correct outlet is the child employee is the parent now let's say that employee named rajesh who is the manager for multiple outlets is leaving the organization it's leaving the company he is joining some other company do you think that if that employee leaves the company all the outlets data all the outlets would be shut down definitely not right so business might have told you that you know what uh, rajesh uh, is actually leaving the organization so why don't you delete the rajesh's uh, data from the employee so you have gone and deleted the employee data do you think if you delete the parent employee record it should delete all the child outlets data definitely not this is where you have to choose a lookup relationship in the lookup relationship what happen is the child okay i mean the outlet object or the child records are not dependent on the parent parent and child can 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 uh, live independently a parent record can be deleted and nothing will happen to the child records if this is the situation you have to go ahead with the lookup relationship so you as an admin or as a business analyst it is your job to identify whether to create a lookup or to create a master data relationship so lookup concept is clear it's very simple where you have no dependency between the parent and the child object just go ahead with the lookup relationship in master data relationship what happen is the child is fully dependent on the parent what do you mean by child is fully dependent on the parent see for an example suppose business again have decided that they don't want to do any business in india suppose for an example they are into 10 different countries uh, and they do, they just don't want to do any business in india so they have decided that all the uh, head offices data outlet data let's back it up in some other database and free the salesforce database so delete the india head office data now tell me one thing if the if they don't want to do any business in india if they want to delete the india head office what should happen to the child outlets what should happen to all the outlet that belongs to india head office definitely it should be deleted correct if that is the situation then you have to go ahead with the master data relationship 
you know what i mean so whenever you find uh, that there is a dependency if the ma if the master i mean whatever you call master is called parent okay if the parent records is getting deleted then the associated child record also should be deleted right if that is the situation you have to go ahead with the master relationship make sense so outlet and head office would be a master relationship i want to ask you a question please listen to this carefully and uh, try to answer yourself okay so uh, revenue and outlet what do you think what would be the relationship between revenue and outlet what's your thought let me guess what you're thinking so i think uh, you thought that it would be a master detail yes it will be a master detail if you ask me why i would say that let's say india head office oh sorry outlet right so let's say there's an outlet call um, bangalore india outlet all right and this is a pretty old outlet which has uh, suppose this is 12 months old outlet all right and that outlet has uh, 12 revenues data right it's a 12 months old outlet every month there's a revenue that you have to enter so total 12 revenue records that you have for that particular outlet now suppose business want to delete that particular outlet somehow it is not running well so business have decided to delete that outlet they have back up the data from salesforce to some other database and they want to just delete the outlet what do you think what should happen to the child revenues data definitely it should be deleted so your guess is correct so you have to create a master detail relationship between outlet and revenue all right and what about the head offices the relationship between head office and employee see one employee would be the manager of multiple head offices or maybe the manager of only one head office doesn't matter but what do you think what should be the relationship between uh, head office and outlet sorry head office and employee let me guess let me guess you are thinking about look up yes this is correct so it should be a look up if you ask me why again if the employee name rajesh is the uh, manager of five different head offices and if he is leaving the job it doesn't mean the company will shut down right so uh, some other person will come and replace him as the manager of those five head offices so if you delete the rajesh's employee data it should not affect the child head offices correct and this is where we have to create a look up and master so we are pretty much clear with three different thing one what is relationship second which object would be the child and which object would be the parent in between two objects and third when to choose look up relationship and when to choose master this three thing is crystal clear right so now we will just implement this particular uh, a relationship okay we will just create and anyway the object has already been created what i'm going to do is i'm going to first create the employee data remember the parent record will be created and the child record will be creating correct so in this case employee data i mean whoever will be the manager of a particular outlet will be created so let me go ahead and so let me go ahead and create the employee data so i will go to this employee object sorry employee tab click on new i don't have many fields but i have just created few fields like employee name name is rajesh okay the employee email address and uh, the phone number 1234567789 and salary is $100 okay and uh, pretty much save okay if you save this is my parent employee record i have not created the relationship between the employee and the outlet so far i'm just going to create it but before that i have already created the parent record because a uh, parent record would be created child record would be creating now what i want is basically this whenever let's say there's a new outlet opening up let us go ahead and create the outlet So if you create an outlet suppose there's a brand new outlet is opening up see when you create a new outlet how do you tag this outlet who is the manager first of all i don't have a field called manager but what i want is manager name i want a field over here and whenever i should not be able to type in the manager name like hard coded right i should be able to look up 
the manager name from the employee table and I should be able to populate that from there. That's how the relationship works. So another point that you're going to learn here is the relationship field. What do you mean by relationship field? The field that I'm just going to create. See, when you say relationship between two objects, it is nothing but you are, you as an admin, you are creating a relationship field with data type as lookup in the child object. This line is important, okay? You as an admin are creating the, uh, you know, uh, relationship field in the child object, selecting the lookup as the data type or master detail as the data type. That's how the relationship, right? It is not like the, um, you know, Oracle or SQL relationship where you have to do so many things. It is just a drag and drop, right? So let me set up the relationship between outlet and employee. So we have to create the relationship field in which object? Child object. The relationship field will always be there in the child object. And between employee and outlet, who is child? Outlet. So I'm going to go to outlet object by going to the setup and uh, look look for object manager, search outlet, here is my object. And if I go to the fields and relationship, I have to click on this new button, okay, to create a new field. This time, I'm gonna go ahead and select the data type as what? Lookup, because we have decided, right? This should be a lookup relationship, not master detail. Select the lookup. Select the parent object. Who is the parent object? Um, employee is the parent object. I've selected employee. Click on next. Now here you have to give the name, name of the field. Okay. I don't want the name of the field to be employee, by the way. It has to be the outlet manager. So I'm just giving a help text called, uh, please look for the manager from the employee table or not table object okay object and populate here pretty good this is basically to help the um, end user right just to understand what uh, what type of data can go in this field right so not selecting anything else just clicking on next and uh, in this page as i have mentioned just make sure for system admin this is checked which is already checked. Next. Save. There we go. Now I have done um, creating a field, a relationship field um, in the employee, sorry, in the outlet object. So this is the outlet object definition page. And if you go to the field and relationship section, the field that I just have created right now is the, where's the field? Outlet name manager. This is the field. You see, this is the name of the field, right? Outlet manager. And what is the data type? Data type is lookup. And who's the parent object? Employee. Now, how do I test it? I'll go back to the um, homely food application, okay? This application has, again, four tabs. I have already created the parent record. And this is my parent record. Now I'm going to go and create the child record. So I will go here in the outlets, create a new outlet. The new outlet would be suppose uh, Bangalore, India outlet. Okay, here I'm just giving the area as 1222, sitting capacity is low, uh, 50, menu, I'm choosing menu 1, menu 3, and so and here if you see this is the relationship field guys this is how you create a relationship between outlet and employee between two objects so outlet is the child object and you are as an admin you are going to the child object and have created this particular field now let me go here and search about the um the manager name by the way this is a good feature uh, given in the lightning see whenever i'm clicking here it, it's it's showing me automatically all the uh, existing employees data but in the in the classic view right you have to uh, you have to click on this magnifying glass it would have opened a new window there you have to go and search with that um, new employee name correct so i'm selecting rajesh chatterji as the manager of this outlet save okay so this is my child record this is the child record 
and this is the parent record. If I open the parent record in a different tab, this is how it looks like. This is my parent record, right? The name of the employee, the salary, employee ID, and so and so. Now tell me one thing, okay? Answer this question. What if I now go ahead and delete this parent record? Just answer yourself, okay? What will happen if I go and delete this particular parent record? I'm deleting it. Um, so parent record has been deleted. Now, what will happen to this child Bangalore India outlet record? Guess what? This outlet manager was Rajesh Strategy. Now Rajesh Strategy data has been deleted. And guess what? This record, if I refresh, right? Let me refresh the page. See, after I refresh, the record Bangalore India outlet is still existing, right? It is, it is still there. But the only change that you see is the outlet manager become blank because that outlet manager data has been deleted from the employee table. So that manager field become blank. This is what happened in the lookup. In the lookup relationship, there is no dependency. Child and parent can be independent. And if you delete the parent, nothing happens to the child record. Only thing is the, child, the parent, um, the relationship field, which was populated with that parent and after the parent has been deleted, it just become blank. That's it. By the way, in master or in lookup, whatever type you're selecting, the child doesn't impact the parent. It's never gonna happen where uh, you have one parent which has multiple childs. And if you delete any of the child record, nothing is gonna impact to the parent record. Okay, so I hope the lookup part is pretty much clear. So fourth thing we have learned is how to create lookup. This is clear. Let's go ahead and talk about the master data relationship. See, master data relationship is uh, is the big ocean, right? So there are so many things that you have to know about a master data relationship. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and create a new video for the master data relationship because this is going to be big. Okay, so see you in the next video.